Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and today we will learn how to create this beautiful presentation slide but before that, watch this. What if you have a PDF document and you want to create a Word, Excel or PowerPoint presentation out of it? You will start creating the document manually which is time consuming. The all new PDF element 7 from Wondershare works like magic. With a single click, it converts any document into a Word, Excel, PowerPoint and many other popular formats. It saves time and efforts. For more information, refer to the links mentioned in the description. So welcome to Creative Winners. You can watch our channel, watch 600 plus videos. From there you can download free slides as well. You can also subscribe to our channel, you can join the membership as well, hit the like button, share these videos and look at these beautiful videos. From these videos you can learn different tips and tricks of powerpoints and that way you will learn lots of new things. Now let's start the tutorial. The very first step is as always we have to insert this background layer with the help of rectangle shape. Now insert another rectangle and it will be slight, uh, slightly uh, smaller than the background rectangle now you have to align it to the center and align it to the middle so this video is quite simple and this is a very simple business slide but it's very beautiful so you will definitely like it so if you are watching this video right now please subscribe because 60 to 70 percent of my viewers haven't subscribed yet so if you will subscribe that will really helpful for us also you can you know support us by joining the membership as well now insert this rectangle here and place it like this now remove its outline I never use shapes outline I keep it simple now you have to you know subtract it from the background like this now duplicate this slide so that we can have a backup of it now insert another complete background layer in the form of rectangle remove its outline fill a picture here so I've already downloaded a picture from pexels.com so you can use any image as per the requirement of your PowerPoint presentation now again duplicate this layer this time we will fill it with a nice gradient color you know how to fill gradients on one of the gradient stop we will use this dark blue color and on this let's use something beautiful okay let's keep it blue only but less dark slightly lighter than the previous blue that we have used so you can try and experiment here different things you don't have to go with the blue here you can go with the color matching your brand color scheme so I'm still making sure the color is looking good now we have slightly increased the transparency on both the gradient stops so that the background image that we have used is slightly visible now let's use this layer and paste it here but before that let's use this shape and let's change its angle so sometimes I get the ideas on the go like while I'm designing this slide 
I got this idea to use this kind of shape here so let me tell you guys I always create slides in the real time it's not that I have already decided that I have to do this I press the record button and then I start creating the slide now let's duplicate it and change its angle by rotating it or flipping them flipping it horizontally I'm not sure if it will look good here I'm just checking the transparency here now let's change the gradient angle so if you are watching this video right now please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well so I've slightly moved the sliders and now look it, it is looking much better now so this is these are the kind of you know experiments you can do do not hesitate to try different things don't go with the traditional uh, ways of designing things try anything you want be different be unique be more creative so I've created this pattern now use this layer that we have designed earlier so I have pasted it here now it looks like a small window apply white color and now you can see it's looking really beautiful and glossy so everything that I design in PowerPoint I always make sure that it should look realistic and it should look that beautiful that you want to touch it on your screen I always try to you know create glossy kind of slides now comes the most easiest part writing text and you are a master of it I know that you can do it monster at font is one of my favorites right now I am using it a lot it's a free Google font so I hope you are watching my video till now and I would really appreciate if you watch the videos till the end so that you can learn then you should download the free slide that I have provided in the description also please hit the subscribe button and your subscription means a lot and you can go even further and you can join the membership as well so that will be cherry on the top now I'm trying to write a small description here so this is the area which you can use for anything this is not a title slide you can write your process here you can write anything here or you can use this design throughout the slides it's a kind of postcard design so you can use this slide throughout uh, your presentation and on uh, I mean you can use it like for the agenda then objectives then process then details and conclusion and, and all you can write stats here draw infographics make sure infographics should match the colors those red blue green infographics will not look good here so let's write something here as well some volume number or year or anything some small text here will look good but it should be a business or I mean something really important text should come here which you really want to highlight 
or you can write some quote here from some great professional some marketing quote by Kotler anything so I have created a unique kind of design here I have kept everything in a small letter but increased the size of the letter P so these all things you can try to make the text look more professional much more beautiful so don't overdo things but keep them simple but beautiful here you can add some logo at the moment so I have just written letter P here to represent the logo now let's write the slogan of the logo or company name so if you are watching this video at the moment please hit the subscribe button it's just below this video and there you just have to press it also you should hit the like button as well so today's video is not really difficult it's very easy of course it takes time to design such slides but at the end these slides really help in generating lots of business and leads and ultimately the revenue so biggest deals in the world are closed with the help of PowerPoint presentations only so if you know the trick to design a PowerPoint that hit the minds of the user then you can really do a good business then you know how to express your thoughts so it's a great tool to let everyone know what you think so the design is complete I hope you like this design so please hit the subscribe button be a subscriber that will really motivate us also you can go a next go to a next step and join the membership as well also do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends colleagues or anyone near you so you guys have been such a lovely audience that you have watched it till the end do not forget to download the free slide from the link given in the video description thank you everyone have a nice day peace